Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna paint people on the street. This is our subject. Idea is uh, in October, I hold the online workshop two days in French's Capet. And I want to uh, welcome you to the workshop, invite you to join me because on the, that workshop, we will focus in on the people on the street for sure. But the most important, we will talk about the composition one of the most important part of any visual art. Plus, we will talk about how to create the background. You know, when you paint in something like a cityscape, there is no questions about the background. We just feel all the paper. But sometimes we focus in on one subject. For instance, like for the still lives or exactly what we will do today, people on the street. So in that case, uh, we'll try to organize our paper. And the background is just a background, but it has to be part of our composition. I don't want to tell you all the secrets right now because it takes a lot of hours. That's why we run that workshop and believe me, it will be very interesting. But few things I will explain you today. So this is our reference photo. I took that photo uh, in Finland maybe like uh, five years ago. It's just people on the street. I have no idea who, who I am, who, who's this, these guys there. But our idea to use it just like a, a not a portrait precise subject, we just transform it to, to someone. We have to explain the light, we have to explain the movement. That's the important things there. So again, I want to change the colors a little bit because it's, it's really not nice. So we can make like, a, for instance, the t-shirt in the different color and it will be much better than the just a black or something. So we're gonna play with that. But as I say, the most important question is the composition. And before we start, you know the rules. You can ask me any questions anytime. Just tape it in the chat and we can communicate. Okay, let's go. Uh, by the way, the link for the workshop with the French escapade, uh, which will be in October 1st and the 2nd, you can find uh, directly in the chat. So, uh, sorry, I have to move my subject somewhere there because uh, for now I'm working on the background and uh, I need all my space. By the way, my paper was prepared. Uh, if you uh, saw my uh, live streaming before, you already know what I make the sketch. And on the back side of the paper, I put the water many times. So it's really, really wet on the back, but the front side is dry. That's why. I can use a dry brush strokes for uh, to make the texture or something. Hello, Barbara. <laughs> Welcome to June, and thank you very much for your kind words. I'll do my best. You know, ideas, it's, yeah, it's look like uh, something complicated. Honestly, it's not, because uh, if we focus on the light, uh, we can make it easily way. Hello, India. Hello, Malaysia. Welcome to join me, Italy. We have a people around the world. Great. Hello, Spain. You know, in October, I will be in Spain for the workshop as well, uh, in Girona with the Angela Barbie. Ah, I like that country. So you see, I change the color of this stuff, so I make it more bluish. I like how it look like, uh, and plus, it's a nice combination with the pink or yellowish colors what I used before. And I'm not trying to build a shape. As you can see, I blend everything. So I'm trying to just uh, prepare the background, as I say, and not focusing on the shapes for now. Later, we'll care about this. Mm -hmm. 
and slowly I'm starting to include the background uh, in my picture talking about the composition the simple trick you see I put the two bodies not on the center it will it will be more easy for sure to take the portrait position something like this but they doesn't move here to make the feeling of the movement I move them in the landscape paper here that means they have a space to move that's the simple trick but that works perfectly And I change the color here, I make it more greenish, you see, so it will be uh, better to make it a little bit more colorful. Thank you for the question about the thumbnail. You you mean the thumbnail for uh, uh, for the social media or what do you mean? Hello, Edmonton. Hello for everyone who right now on the Instagram. You know, in the same moment, it's a, a live streaming on my YouTube channel. So you have a chance to join me and see all the process how we create the painting. Welcome. And let's add a little bit more freshness inside, just the water. And as I say, slowly I'm starting to include the background in my process. First of all, I decide before I start to paint to make my shadows a little bit more purple. That's why the same colors, but very softly I'm going to use for the background. I have to show the direction. That's why I make it look like an arrow. You see, I say the people going this way. So that's why all the movement of my brush in the same direction. Again, it's a simple trick, but that helped to your subconscious understand the, what I'm doing. Hello, Catalonia! Welcome to join me! So, uh, I'm trying to build a diagonal here, it's like a triangle. But also, we're talking about the vertical people there. That's why I'm going to use another one direction to make my people here a little bit more visible. And we're going to make uh, this background a few times. So for now I just make it very light, later we put another one layer and make it much darker. That helped me to show the light better. And plus, another one trick, I'm, I'm trying to say it's a street with uh, some buildings. So that's why I create something like a ghost of the city, not the city itself, but the ghost of the city. And for that, the vertical lines help me to show the buildings or something like that. It's not exactly have to be 100% understandable. It have to be 100% interesting. Hello, India, and thank you very much for joining me today. 
I know it's a Independence Day today for India, so I appreciate what you spend your time, your uh, like vacation time today with me. I'm really appreciate it. Thank you for joining. Hello, friends. And all the people who are watching me right now, if you don't mind, please give us a like, because if you have more likes, that make this video more visible for other people who couldn't uh, join uh, me right now. So for later, it's, it's very important. So thank you very much for your support. See, very soft touching what I'm doing here. Again, it's not like a buildings, but because of this line, because of that line, it's starting to look like a something softly like a ghost of the city. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Hello, Philippines. In November on the Philippines, we will be together on the demo. Uh, so it will be a big, great festival, watercolor festival in the Philippines. So soon we will be together. Again, you see it's a very bright part. There is no darkness here or huge counters or something. I'll do my best to really keep it like a ghost. Because the darkness touching will be on the bodies. This is our main subject and important subject. A little bit more texture. Швейцария, привет из Монреаля. So uh, I can say my background, the first layer is done. Uh, I'm happy how it's look like because it's look like a fresh, transparent, and nice. What I'm gonna do now. I turn off my sound and use the hair dryer to make this layer dry and ready to apply the second one. And the trick is, uh, you see, before I'm thinking just about the light, I will did my best to uh, build my palette, my color palette for this project, to choose the right colors to make it look interesting and combine everything together. There is no shadows here and there is no shapes. That means right now I'm focusing on the shapes and the shadows. For this I will use two brushes mostly, uh, the three lines brush and my calligraphy brush which can build, build in the different shapes and that's very useful for me. So let's go. And if before I combine all the light in one spot, the same I will do with the shadows. I'll do my best to combine everything together.
as I say I decided to make my shadows a little bit more purple that's why mostly I use mix between cobalt and pyrene violet for sure it's a Daniel Smith paint As I say in the beginning of uh, our uh, meeting today, I will hold a workshop in October 2nd, uh, 1st and the 2nd online. It's a French escapade website. You can find all the information there. And the link to that workshop are attached uh, in our chat. So we will talk about the background, composition, and people on the street. And believe me, it will be a very, very interesting workshop with the interesting things and we'll do not usual job there so if you have a chance join me hello nepal Hello Canary, Canary Island, welcome to join me. Спасибо, это по-прежнему мой родной язык. Yes, this video uh, will be saved and you can see that on the YouTube later any time it will be available. So yeah, if you don't have a chance to uh, finish it, uh, the video with me, you can watch it later. No problem. Okay, for uh, people who miss the beginning of our demo, the paper was prepared. Uh, I applied the water on the back side. I waited many times, uh, but the front side was dry. Then I start to paint. That's why you can see the dry brush strokes there. That's what I like. So yeah, I'm working on the paper before. And as I say, we change the colors a little bit. So it was a blue here, it's like a cobalt or ultramarine. I change it and make it more greenish. That make it a little bit more interesting, I think. And remember uh, the shadows uh, all the time a little bit grayish that's why it's not just a bright green I mix uh, the color with a indigo a little bit plus uh, you see to explain the light on the hand I use the dress like a negative space hello Florida And just to make my job faster, I switch to the this brush. Hello, Switzerland! And uh, lady have a great black bag here, so we again combine everything together. 
and I leave the chance to water to blend it itself you see it's because it's wet and it's connected and I like how it's look like so that make it look like a really fresh things For all the people who are watching me right now, if you like the process, please give us a like because that helped this video to move and make it more visible. Uh, for all the people who couldn't join me right now, for them it's very important. In that case, they have a chance to see that later. So please give us a like. Hello Francois, thank you for joining me today. Hello Ecuador. As you can see, it slowly started to be something like visible with some shapes, but I don't want to create all the details here and we're gonna make it like a... I'm always trying to simplify my job. You, know, you already know that. That's like an idea of all the process what I'm doing. I'm trying to make my life more simple and my painting more simple. So that's why if we are separate the process with a few steps like this, first then I slide after that with all special effects like a spray or something, and after that care about the shadows and create the shape that way really make the process simple and I like it hello Spain Toronto welcome to join me and one trick uh, look at that leg here all the leg in the shadow that's why I don't want to create something there but what I do want I want to combine it with the shadows on the ground you see it's really look good together so let's do that a cold purple mix pretty dark and cold and let's make it and plus we can use something like a dry brush strokes again some wash out to make like a softly shape there and as I say I'll take the purple mix and gonna make the shadow on the ground and connect everything together and slowly I'm going up this time so I'm moving on my paper like a snake part by part we're starting here going down connected there and going up that's why because of that way I can keep all my shadows connected together And that's why you know I'm really enjoy the workshops what what we can there we can talk and uh, sometimes you know uh, I couldn't answer on the questions like here uh, very simple words I can explain something complicated and say more that's why uh, I'm all the time enjoying the workshops if I have a chance to, to hold it it's always great and we talk with the people and 
always the students have a lot of questions so if you have a chance again join me uh, on on October 1st and 2nd if I hold the uh, workshops in person which is really great as well it's nice but we have a uh, limited numbers of people but online we can do more Hello, New Jersey. Thank you very much for your kind words. Hello, Belgium. And thank you very much. You see, even with this brush, I'll do the dry brush touching here, which make it look like a much better than just a perfectly made paint. It's more alive. We definitely back to this lady later. So for now I switch to that character and it will be almost the same process. I just make some soft touching inside a little bit later and we make some something like imitation of the sunglasses or something but not now and as we did before, I use the dry brush to make the shadows and we'll try to make it look nice. Hello, Pierrefont! It's close to my house and <laughs> welcome to join me. Okay, uh, the question about the board, what I'm using. This is a PVC board. That's the black stuff. Uh, very strong, uh, but uh, not heavy. Uh, that's why I'm using that for the plein air as well. You can find this board on my website uh, too, because uh, we're selling it. And I'm using this in my studio on the plein air in the different sizes. This is for the quarter, and that's the half of the sheet. And yeah, because it's, first of all, because it's black, it's never look like a dirt. I like how it's look like. And I like the texture. It's not shiny. It's like a matte things. And that's really, really nice for watercolor. Very useful. <laughs> Hello, Nicole from Russian. Thank you for joining me today. It's a surprise. Today we have a lot of people from Canada. That's great. Thank you very much. You 
You know, for me, it's always a pleasure to start the Monday, start my week from that meeting. It's given me a lot of energy for the whole the week, and I'm really enjoying your company. Thank you. Uh, for now, we have uh, 75 people online. Thank you very much for your time on this beautiful Monday morning. And thank you for your support. You see, I'm, I'm moving in all the direction. I'm touching there, there, because I'm still trying to combine everything in one shape. One big shadow, always. And we have a two hands here. I want to make it look like a one shape again. I don't want to make precise fingers or something. For now, it's honestly, it doesn't matter. If it's understandable, that's great. We don't have to do more. Later, I will add just a few details. It will be like another one trick, which make it uh, more nice, but not now. For now, I switch to that part, and I want to show you one trick. Uh, on the photo, uh, it's it's very uh, soft color here, and I will show you how to mix a very complicated olive color using just two pigments. So I'll take the quinacridone deep gold from the Daniel Smith, and a little bit indigo. So because of that, I have a very nice greenish olive color. That's color I will use for the shadows here. And as usual, we combine all the shadows together. That's good. And you remember, you can ask me any questions in the process. I can talk and and continue to paint. So feel free. All my experience at your service. For sure, if you join the workshop uh, in October, I can say much more and explain more things. But something I can tell you right now here if you have a question. So feel free. We continue to combine everything together and slowly our characters co come into life and going to be visible and that's great. Remember about the contrast, it's a very important point. So we, we always use the huge contrast to make really feeling about the sunlight, the real sunlight, the nice sunlight. So now I can put it here if you want to fall in the, the picture because it's pretty dry. And as before, we connect everything in one spot. 
and for instance this one the second leg here is like a negative space for that one so if I just make it darker uh, the light will be more visible Great, and I repeat the same trick. Here everything was combined, and here I will do the same. I just connect everything together. I switch to the bigger brush because that helped me to make like dry brush strokes again and make it more alive and spontaneous You know, yes, uh, you know, I, I, I like the uh, workshop in, in person. I'm all the time enjoy that. So, yeah, if we have a chance, great. Because, uh, you know, you can find on my website, watercolonline.com, all my schedule uh, with uh, all the workshops around the world, different countries. So you can choose which one is uh, better uh, for you and you can join. So... I make some part there, but it's not done. To make it much better, I have to care about the here, about the background to bring the lights. That's what we're gonna do right now. But before, I just make a few touching to make uh, something, I couldn't say sunglasses, but not sunglasses, but some shadows which will be look like uh, sunglasses. That's it, that will be enough. So, the background, one of the most interesting game. The colors of the background, extremely important because of the right choice of colors, I can show the light, make the set uh, feeling about the, the situation or about the whole the picture or make it like a shiny nice day. And if we want to uh, bring the brilliant uh, bright light, our shadows have to be pretty dark. Yes, the question about the workshop in the French is complete. Yes, I'm always adjust uh, everything what I'm, I'm doing for the different levels. And uh, it's al always on my workshops, the people with the different levels. And it wasn't a problem uh, because we can talk personally and I'll do my best to keep the older workshops like a, almost like a private lessons. Because in that case, I can talk with the people and give the personal advice to you. So, there is no problem with that. Feel free to join me. And you see, because of the background, uh, the light just uh, come into our painting and, and the bodies just jump from the paper. So, I'm really like it. Plus, one trick. If we want to bring the more lights, use the washout, something like that. You see, it's like a great feeling of the light here. <laughs> Hello, Sandra. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm look forward to the uh, our trip here as well. It should be nice. We already checked the weather. The weather is great. So I hope it will be a truly interesting trip. Uh, 
Alors, bon, bonjour France. <rire> Bienvenue. Oui, excusez-moi pour euh, euh, mon anglais. C'est impossible to, uh, you know, I couldn't talk on, on French because uh, not too much people know that, that language, but I really appreciate what you joined me today. Even if we have a, some kind of problem with the, with the language. Thank you. Okay, the question about the mixing colors. You know, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't measure how much water you have to take or less water. It's just always a question about the feeling. All what we can do, uh, practice more, and with the time, you're starting to feel how much uh, water you have to take on your mix. Like, for instance, I am always use a lot of water here than I'm mixing, but before I apply it on my paper, you see, I'm touching brush by the paper towel and because of that I remove the extra water and that's why I can use a dry brush I can I, I, I don't make like a huge lake on my paper You know, if you want to, for instance, add some kind of green trees here without painting trees, all what you need just kind of greenish color. That will be nice and make painting look better. Oh, by the way, if you really want to create the green tree, that's easy to do. For this, you need just a uh, use that brush in correct way and you can do something like that and that will be look like a green tree so simple things we don't have to but it, sometimes it's make the subject look better Because we concentrate the shadow here it's like our focus point we asking people to watch there this is our main subject so what I should do for now just add some uh, details we don't finish it, this part of the arm that's why it looks pretty strange and just a small detail some touching and that will be done And again, we have to care about the good contrast. Okay, we continue to apply the shadows there and you see for now it's just blended with the background so just with a one dark stroke we can separate it and plus make the nice light on the arm. Hello friends and thank you for your kind words. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> thank you for the language question. Uh, my native language, Russian for sure. 
Uh, plus, uh, as you can see, um, can talk in English, not perfectly, but okay for communication. And I can understand the French and can spoke on the French as well. Not great, but possible to survive, let's say. So we can say uh, two and a half languages. I wish it will be like a five, but there is no time, unfortunately, to work on that. And that's pretty sad. So few more things can make that much better. First of all, we have to finish the face of the lady. That's important. For sure, we're going to make sunglasses. And because of the contrast here, I believe we bring her face in life. We have to finish it our back. I, I like how it looks like. And it's always make uh, you know the painting more believable if we do something like this. Because of that details uh, it's going to be look like realistic and people starting to trust uh, the painting just because of the some realistic details. So that's important part. I just spray background a little bit. It's make a, like a nice parking light there. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. You know, uh, it's always problem uh, for me as well. How to find the right moment uh, where we have to stop the painting process. Uh, I have a, like a few personal uh, tricks uh, for this. One of them, uh, unfortunately, uh, is working just for me, because sometimes then I'm painting uh, and starting to focus in on the some details and starting to lose the control. Sometimes my wife pass me and say, "Please stop," and I understand what well, that's enough, and I have to stop. So that's great solution, but it's really really personal. And a few important things again to show the right direction. We prepare the background here, but it's not enough. Let's make it more visible. Because again, I'm trying to show the direction. For example, we use the background here and I can do the same there. Not that dark like we did there, but something. Mm. 
by the way, I have a question for you uh, because uh, we have a, a lot of people who back to the uh, to our Monday uh, streaming video uh, again and again, and I have a question: What subject do you prefer to see for the next time? We can do the portrait, we can do the cityscape, we can do the landscape, we can do the people on the street. So, which subject you think will be more interesting? And uh, right now, uh, you just can uh, tell me in the chat, or uh, we will make something like a pool, and you will uh, tell me, and I will follow your advice, because maybe, as you know, maybe not, my favorite subject is always one, the light. But what we use for explanation of the light, uh, it's always can be something different. So you decide. So finally we make the direction visible, we create uh, all the details here what we need, just small touching on that character and I can say it will be done. You know, I I'm always enjoy that last touching because it's always bring the, the picture to life. That's exactly what we did here. With, you see the small touch in there, and we can add some watch on the hand. It's just like a question of the contrast. and just a few tiny lines to finish the project. Okay, thank you for your advice about the our subject for the next time. I appreciate it. So now I know what to do. And just a last few words about what we create. Uh, we focusing on the uh, our main subject, that two people. But you see, I create the background, but you don't look at the background. It's just part for support our subject. But you know, your subconscious understand what that's the city, that's the street and that's all what we need plus we show the direction and help to our characters to move so we exactly did what we want and for sure on the workshop i can explain you much more tricks tips and how to make it more visible and explain your idea better the main tool for that for sure the composition and that's what we're focusing on on the workshop thank you very much for your time I really appreciate what you joined me this Monday. Stay healthy and definitely see you next Monday on the live streaming. Thank you and bye bye.